On the Town with Lorenzo is brought to you by Sangria Tapas Bar and Restaurant and Ivory Lounge. Luca Shea, and welcome to another fabulous episode of On the Town with Lorenzo. Today, I'm going to get a chance to do something that many want to do, but haven't had an opportunity to do. I'm going to get an opportunity to interview three glass sculptors, some of the most fabulous glass sculptors in all of the world, according to me and some other pretty well-known people. We're here at Ringling Campus in the Selby Gallery, and I'm sure you are going to be blown away with some of the pieces you're going to see today, and you're going to be getting your checkbooks out trying to figure out how you can buy them. I can't wait to share tonight's show with you. Sit back, relax, and enjoy everything you're about to see. Luca Shea! And here I am with one of the three fabulous sculptors, Kathleen Mokahe. Did I say it right? Mokahe. Mokahe, that's fine. I'm learning. Yes. I'm not Irish. That's okay. <laughs> I, 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 you're forgiven. You're for, I'm forgiven. <laughs> now, you're from Pittsburgh. Yes, I am. And I was born there. Really? You didn't know that, did no. you? I sure was. I was born in Pittsburgh. Well, that's wonderful. And so, of course, I'm immediately drawn to everything that you've done. Oh, thank you. You and your husband. Right. You're the first one we're talking to. Right. And just, then, yeah, and then my husband, Ron Desmond. Yes, yes your yes, husband, yes, Ron yes. Desmond. Is, is, is amazing. I'm so flattered. Now, let's talk about your work. Yes. It's thank amazing. Now, first of all, these pieces here remind me of a chandelier that I've seen. I've seen chandeliers with these huge drops. Drops. That's that, right. And they're so elegant and so beautiful. And they look like they're just dripping. There's like thousands of them. I've seen them in yeah, Europe. Right yes. The drops for me come from several different places. You know, I, um, I actually canoe the rivers of uh, western Pennsylvania for the last 14 years. I've been doing it with a small group of women. And we'll actually camp on the river for two nights and then spend the three days usually taking a trip that's anywhere from 30 miles to 50 miles down a river. Wow. And I think that that river experience, that floating on that beautiful, slow western Pennsylvania river has made, sort of brought the water and that kind of um, beautiful action of the river back into my work. What's the name of this piece? This is called Tidal. T-I-D-A-L. Oh, Tidal. Like it's a really tidal like a tidal pool. Okay. Or a, I'm thinking more of a tidal pool or a tidal, you know, yes, but that sense of that beautiful kind of deep motion pool. Okay. Yes. And this is stainless steel? No, it's aluminum. Aluminum? And it's actually fabricated aluminum. And there's a, there's something else kind of strange about this piece. And it is, it's the side curling motion. Okay. That came from visiting an aluminum plant. And you know, they make uh, aluminum framing out of dyes. And as the dyes begin to wear out, the aluminum, instead of coming out straight, begins to wiggle okay. and they think that's an accident and we saw it on the floor of the plant and we said oh wow we have to, I want to work with this I want to work with that movement so that's where that kind of shape comes from how much would something like this cost this one this piece cost $42,000 how would this look with black 
with blown glass. Oh, I think it would look gorgeous. And as a matter of fact, uh -oh. very interesting story. I started making black drops just I want my before cut. I left. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm right, we're working together. <laughs> we're working we're together. Working here. Just, no, what? You know what? Just name it the Lorenzo. Uh, perfect. That's Lorenzo. Lorenzo's like they have Lorenzo's oil. I'm with you. Lorenzo crime right, or something like it. that. That'll work. It. Now let's look at some of the other right, stuff that sure. you've done. Now this piece as well is absolutely gorgeous. It has more of a slate color yeah. and almost in between a slate and a chocolate. So I'll take a piece of steel that I've had cut for me and I'll put it outside and I'll let it weather. I'll let water drop on it. I'll even uh, move the process along by adding uh, vinegar to okay. the metal and letting the vinegar drip down. So some of that orange you're seeing underneath is quite a lot of rusting that I allowed it to do over a period of about three to four weeks outside. Now, this particular piece, how much is this one? It's about 13, 14,000. Okay, so this is a yeah. little more affordable. Yeah, it okay. is. Yeah. And what's, what's the name of this one? The clearing. Now, how long have you been doing this, Kathleen? Well, I've been making, uh, I've been working in glass since 1969. I am honored to be able to feature your works on today's Thank show. You. And I'm going to take the time to talk to your other half. Yes, your my, husband my now. best half. And your best half. Now, see, that's nice to hear a woman say yeah. that about her husband. They can have a hug. I feel lucky too. <laughs> Lucas. Yay!